Hey folks, Justin from Tackle Tactics out on the water this morning. This morning we've got a run-in tide and we're basically going to be throwing one of my favourite soft plastics, the Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns. So today we're going to talk a bit about this deadly little prawn presentation, a few different ways that we rig it and how we fish it in a few different types of areas that we're going to fish today. So buckle up, let's get out and catch a fish. Alright, so we're going to kick things off by fishing up into a bit of a drain. So I like fishing drains, they hold bait, they funnel bait off the flats and fish like to push up into them as the tide lifts. So yeah, drains are a very productive area to fish. When I fish them, I like to sit out from the mouth of the drain and slowly work my way up into the drain, picking both sides of the drain and also the middle. As the drain starts to get a bit thinner, you've kind of got to choose a side. So I like to stick to the side where I think there'll be less fish and fish that fishier side of the drain where it looks a bit more productive, might be weed beds or rubble or, or structure that I'm fishing. So you pretty much got to choose a side and work your way up as that drain gets narrower. We can still flick in front of ourselves and then cover, but we can really, really work one side of the drain nice and hard. So this morning I'm fishing, starting off nice and light because we're fishing the lower stage of the tide. So it's a really, really low, low at present. So I've got a 1 15th ounce number two in a TT Nedlocks jig head with that Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns in the blood oil color. I like that blood oil for this time of the morning. It's low light. Water's a little bit dirty from the rain we've had. So that, ooh, there's a tap. So that blood oil color should be productive. So that's a 1 15th ounce head with that number two hook and that blood oil color in the prawns. It's, it's a good one for, I find if you fish too heavy in this really shallow water, that head will plummet down into the weed. There's a fair bit of weed in this area. By keeping it light, we get that nice, slow, natural fall onto the weed. And being a Nedlock's head, it sits up straight up in the air. So the little legs on the prawn stick out the side. We've got that Nedlock's head, so I can give it a twitch, twitch. The legs pull it up and stall it, drop straight down. Tail sits up in the air and the fish just get on it and eat it. So probably a flatty in here this morning. Might pick up a brim or something else as well in amongst it. Yep. Yep, there we go. What do we got there? Didn't take too many casts to get that guy. Just picking some sandy pockets in amongst the weed is a good technique. As you move up into the drains, this drain's very weedy, but by taking note of where the sand is, we've got a nice bit of morning sun so that we can see that sand. That's a good flatty to kick things off on that blood oil color. That bit of dirty water there. Oh, stay on there, buddy. <laughs> there we go. Nice flatty. Mid-40s, a little bit bigger maybe. On that 1 15th ounce in a size 2 in the TT Nedlocks. Oh, and that prawn's in the blood oil colour. He's still fired up, this guy. We got him in pretty quick. There you go. Beautiful. I don't know if you picked up on that pickup, then on that tap, twitched it up, hop, 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 upward, and it got struck on the fall. Just a little flatty. So that's pretty cool, up on the shallows there. There was a bit of bait flicking over that side, so we sent the cast over that side, and he was in there harassing the bait. Just that nice light head, that slow fall, so when I hopped it up, prawn came up as it fell back down I just saw a tick in the line felt that movement and that was that fish inhaling it so just a little fella but same technique will catch the big guys he's back in right oh big fella to punch a long cast with this light presentation you want to keep the gear nice and light as well for the for the light Ned rig stuff and just finesse plastic stuff I really like one to three kilo gear so this is a one to three kilo TT rods black mumba. So the black mumba's nice 40 ton Toro carbon blank, so nice and punchy. I can really flick that plastic out there with a light head. So one to three kilo black mumba, 1000 ITX, beautiful little smooth reel on there. And on it, I've got six pound braid. So that's a six pound platypus Pulse X8, eight carrier braid, nice smooth round braid for a long cast. 
And then leader wise, I'm fishing a mono leader, a nylon mono leader. So I've got a platypus hard armor in the supple in 10 pound. And I still stick with that 10 pound leader because flatties can chew your leader fairly quickly. So primarily chasing a few flatties in this drain. So I'll keep that leader weight up. If you're, if you're chasing, you know, super finicky brim and that sort of thing in really clear shallow water and that, you might want to drop your leader weight. The guys will get down to eight pound, six pound, even down around four pound and that sort of thing. So 10 pound for me and a nylon leader, just cause I don't, I'm not fishing deep water. So I don't need to use the weight of a fluoro leader to help drop that plastic down. I'm just using that nylon leader for that nice slow fall. Yep. Yep, just on that weed edge where you'd expect him to be. Sitting right up on that weed. That was a beautiful take. Prawn just sunk down to the bottom on that delicate, you know, that slow sink, the parachuting sort of fall. And then bang, this guy just drilled it. Feels like he's got a little bit of weight to him too. <laughs> Cranky. That prawn's good on a bunch of retrieves. You know, you can hop it, shake it. Any sort of twitchy, prawny sort of movement is good. Yep, net. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a nice fish. He's not ready yet. Come on, mate. Cranky. There we go. Beautiful flatty on that blood oil color. Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns on that 1 15th ounce head. So definitely been a proven performer for me, especially getting into this shallower sort of water. That 1 15th ounce head is, is awesome. Underneath, you know, sort of, a, a, I like it in 1.2 meters or less, but it really, really excels in that meter down to sort of half a meter of water. And that's, that's a chunk of a flatty. Be in the 50s, that guy, no problem. Mid 50s, maybe. Oh, there goes my leader. I like that 10 pound when I'm chasing those guys, just gives you that bit of security. You can see that that fight went on a bit longer. Fairly sustained sort of fight. So you can see the power of that flatty when he shakes his head there. So they'll try and use their raspy mouth to wear that leader away. This guy's actually just popped my leader knot with that shake of the head because I was holding the leader tight. And um, that's why your drag's so important when you're fishing for these guys. You want that drag set so that they can run, take line without that head shake popping your, your leader there. So there he is on the grips. You can see that plastic there. We can get that plastic out of there safely. Out you come. Oh, come on. Oh, that little hook has locked him right in the corner of the jaw. So that's a mustard black nickel chemically sharpened hook. It's a brutally strong little hook on those Ned Locks jig heads. So you can take on some big fish with those. There you go. That's a nice, probably mid fifties flatty that's eating that Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns, one of my favorite little bite-sized snacks for flatties and other species, everything eats a prawn. Beautiful. Change of location. We've upped our jig head weight to a 1 8 ounce in a 1 0 in that Headlocks Finesse UV. And we've got a couple of different colors here to fish. We've got the opening night, cause that sun's up. That'll be nice. It's a real natural looking color with that, that flash in through it. And if that doesn't fire, cause the water is a little bit dirty post rain, we've got our Houdini color here on the bloodworm head. So the, the Houdini has a UV element to it as well. So a couple of color options here, ready to go in that one eighth ounce, a little bit heavier head to fish this basin area as the tide floods. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right below the boat, just a little fella. <laughs> he woke me up though, there's been a bit of bait flicking in here and I felt like we were gonna get a bite. 
I was hoping it might be a bit bigger than this fella, but that's pretty cool. So that's that one eighth head slow sinking it down into a couple of meters in this bit of a basin that we're in. Grab this little bloke. He scared me to death. Oh, the anticipation was building then. I felt like we were going to get a bite, so that was pretty cool. That's on that opening night colour. He's only a little fella, but where there's smoke, there's fire, so get this little bloke off. That's on that 1 8 ounce 1 0 pin nicely. See you, little buddy. All right, that flow's picked up a bit, so we've come armed with a couple of quarter ounce options as well. So there's some quarter ounce demons with two and a half inch Z-Man prawn. So it's gonna allow us to handle that flow a bit better with that tide really starting to push now, fishing into sort of two meters of water. Those one eights though, we've put them to one side because we will get up on the flat in that shallower water as the tide lifts. So for now, two meters of water, we're gonna change it up to a quarter. All right, so we've spot locked back down from this beacon marks an edge so we're fishing that edge and we're fishing back up current and bouncing that prawn back down with the flow just making a cast allowing it to get to the bottom keeping an eye on it and then we're just moving it back along that edge a few hops and a pause back to the bottom again just watching that watching that rod tip and watching that line to see that it goes slack that we're on the bottom a few twitches we're keeping it moving because it's moving with the flow so we're not sitting it still for too long, just moving it through the water and those fish will be waiting around this edge to ambush any bait fish that go past or prawns like this little bloke. Oh, get away from there, get away from there. <laughs> that was a pretty cool take. Beacons often mean there's some sort of, you know, structure there, whether it be a bank or a weed bank or, you know, a bit of rubble or that sort of thing. There's they're a great place to go looking for fish around, around your beacons that mark your edges. Edges of channels, drains, weed edges. This guy's a cod. He was sitting right at the base of that beacon. Beautiful looking fish, have a look at that guy. You know, they love structure. He was at the base of that beacon, probably eating whatever's holding in there out of the current. Magic, magic fish. Love that prawn. Smashed it hooked beautifully in the corner of the jaw there. Solid little fish. And I'll tell you what, that first run from these guys, you know about it. I had to work hard to get him away from that beacon. There we go. There's our whoop, blood oil colored prawn. He spat a crab out on the floor. Love their crustaceans, love their crabs and prawns. Beautiful fish, real nice little cod. We'll send him on his way. See you, buddy. Ooh, he's away, straight back to the bottom, that bloke. Fish on. All right, we've moved up onto the flat. We've got that 1 8 ounce head on. Found a few mullet up on the flat here. It's only shallow water, half a metre of water. There's a brimbo on the Houdini colour. In that two and a half inch prawns on that 1 8 ounce head. Only a little bloke, but hopefully there's a few more feeding around this school of mullet. All right, we're flicking that school of mullet, hoping that there's a, a brim or a tailor or something holding in that school of mullet. But we've got a mullet. <clears throat> so we're fishing lightly weighted plastic and you'll find every now and then one of those mullet will grab that plastic while you're flicking through there. You do jag a few in the fins and that sort of thing, but every now and then one will take it in the mouth, especially if you're fishing really light and it's just falling slowly in the school. I'm fishing the Houdini colour, which is kind of weedy looking colour, and those mullet eat a lot of weeds. So we might put him in the box, I think. We'll eat those fillets, use the gut for brim bait and that frame in the crab pot. So there are the species where you don't waste a lot of meat, that's for sure. Yep, there's a tap. That fish just picked that up. Whoa, a bit of weight to it. That's on that quarter ounce demon's head. Just up fishing the flats. It's a grunter. Well, more variety on the prawns. Lots of different species eat that prawns and that time it's a grunter up on the flats. So we're just using that quarter ounce head for casting distance. We're fishing in about a meter and a half to two meters of water. And we're just twitching that prawns over the flats. So he's not a big fish, but another species that prawns, everything eats it. If you're looking for a, a fun plastic to fish in the river and estuary, that's definitely a a good plastic to go with that little 2.5 inch Z-Man prawns.
All right, that breeze is up, which is good for a, a nice long cast over the flats. So just a bit of a fun session on the prawns today. So we got those few flat out early on the lower stages of the tide as that tide was lifting. As the tide's lifted over the flats, we've caught a bit of variety, a few bits and pieces throwing that Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns around, been a tough bite. And with that wind blowing, we've now ducked in to hide in a bit of an area here of flats that's holding a little bit of bait. So we're just basically using that breeze to throw a big long cast. And it's quite a weedy area, so we're keeping that plastic up off the weed. So it's, we're just twitching it, winding, giving it a pause, twitch it, wind it, give it a pause. So we're basically fishing sort of the middle of the water column with that prawns. We're not actually fishing hard on the bottom. We'll just have a chip away at it and see if we can find ourselves a brim to wrap things up. Oh, that feels solid. Just spotted a sand patch that time, so I flicked into the sand patch. Oh, that's an absolute beast of a brim. That's a stonker. If it's not a grunter, it's a cracker brim. Oh, oh, and that's stuck. Don't know how I did that. That was really cool. I flicked that up into the sand pocket that I saw and I was twitching it above the weed and then I let it fall into the sand. As soon as I let it fall into the sand, this guy just absolutely clunked it. No, he's not a giant brim, he's just a grunter. Oh, he's still a nice grunter. There you go. That's a silver or spotted grunter. Javelin fish, so that would be a legal fish. Out of a sand pocket, you're fishing the shallows. So just shallow flats. We're using that wind to carry us across the flat. And you can hear that grunter or javelin fish doing his thing, doing his grunt, grunt, grunt. So that's very, very cool. Hop, 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 pause, hopping it above the weed, saw the sand, pause, let it hit the bottom. That would have just sat tail up and he's just clunked it and went zooming across the flat, so, oh, that's a really nice fish. Yep, 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 on the lift, on the lift after the pause. That's a silver fella. Oh, he's got a mate with him. Might be a few brim just in this little area here. That's another brim on the prawns, flicking over the shallows. He's a bit better, that one. That's a nice little chunk of brim. And he's scoffed that. Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns, Houdini on that bloodworm coloured head. So good fun out on the flats, flicking that Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns. If you love fishing the river and estuary, that's a great one. The fish love it. A lot of different species eat it. Everything eats a prawn. So that's a nice little brim to finish off the session. There we go, folks. A fun little session fishing that Z-Man 2.5 inch prawns. Deadly little 10 times tough a Laztec prawn imitation. It's a perfect little bite-sized snack. That tail gives it lots of action without fouling up around the hook and that sort of thing. And those legs help to stall and parachute it to help it hold in that water nicely. So, you know, today, grunter, brim, flathead, lots of fish will eat that 2.5 inch prawn. So if you want to give your plastics a go, get out and hit those estuaries. You can start in the shallow water with that 1 15th ounce like I did with the Nedlocks as we move into deep water on the flats. We're on the one eighth ounce and then onto that quarter ounce for deeper water again in those edges and where there's a bit of flow. So 2.5 inch prawns, check it out. A great range of colors. Check it out, tacklertactics.com.au. Get stuck into a few fish. Cheers.